Trinity College Dublin is uh, Ireland's leading university and we're based right in the centre of Dublin city. The School of Natural Sciences houses the departments of Geography, Geology, Botany and Zoology and importantly our research transcends the traditional disciplines and it moves even beyond science to the social sciences and the humanities and this is critical if we're going to address some of these real world problems like food production, um, transport, the future of cities and um, globalisation. Research in geography and geoscience at Trinity College is highly interdisciplinary in character. For example, our geologists work with physicists and chemists in carrying out their work. Our urban geographers work very closely with sociologists and anthropologists and engineers and others in doing their work on contemporary urban geography. For me, Trinity had such a diverse range of topics and modules that you could pick from. And that sort of broad diversity just really, really interested me because I was like, well, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do when I graduate, but I've got all these amazing options at Trinity and why would I go somewhere where it sort of limits me a bit? All of the academic staff at Trinity are research active and it's therefore very natural when we stand and we teach. We communicate the passion that we have for research. And it's not just about what we know, but it's about the way in which we can go and find out about these things. So research-led teaching it is a thread that runs through all, everything that we do. The School of Natural Sciences is populated by people, academics who are at the frontier of their field. They're doing cutting edge research and that has global implications as well as local applications. And they're able to translate that knowledge and that way of doing science towards their graduate and undergraduate students. My students at the moment are working at topics that vary from looking at uh, the impact of Hurricane Ophelia we had recently to coastal erosion and some of the students are even studying surface processes on Mars. Currently I'm doing my lab research project which is, which is an independent project and I'm looking at some rock samples from deep under the continent um, from South Africa um, and these are from rocks that frequently contain diamonds. Field teaching is of critical importance to us uh, and we work very hard to ensure that in every year of the four-year degree programme our students will spend time actually out in the natural world. The sciences like physics or chemistry will mostly be done in a laboratory but to a geoscientist the earth itself is the laboratory and we need to get out into our earth laboratory and either collect samples for analyses or to actually problem solve out there in the field and for me as a principally a field geologist that's actually what's so exciting about doing field work is getting out there being dropped into an area that perhaps no geologists or anyone has really ever looked at before and actually just trying to sort out its geological history and it's telling you a story about how that area evolved maybe over hundreds or billions of years. Along the geoscience stream our students go to a number of locations in Ireland, um, Wexford, Antrim and they also go to um, Greece, Santorini, Naxos, the mainland and, and to Spain. It provides a, a spatial and co temporal context for the rocks that they study. You know they see these rocks in, in the lab under the microscope and in hand specimen but to really understand how they relate to each other you need to see them in the field. Fieldwork really cements the theory that you've learned in class and allows you to apply it to real world problems. Um, it also really helps you develop your 3D thinking, um, so it's a lot easier to understand and visualise how structures work when you can actually walk around them in the field and trace out them. For me, university is very much about asking questions and we hope that we will give our graduates those tools and the skills required to ask insightful questions, to go and generate new knowledge to see where the real grand challenges lie and to come up with new novel solutions to them. They leave Trinity with a, a deep knowledge and expertise in particular subject areas but we also train them so that they can put that into a context so they can articulate that, work with other experts in a collaborative way in order to be able to face and solve the challenges of the 21st century.